All right, howdy, howdy, everybody. And today, we've got something very important. Actually, like, very important, actually. What we have is Daytona's, like, two minutes away. Um, it's almost here. So we, we got to get ready for Daytona. We maybe waited a little too long, but we still got a couple days. But we have some things to get done on the 6.0 before it goes, because... Uh, as y'all know, 6.0s have some problems, and we are, we're here to take care of those problems, all right? Make sure we don't experience any problems on the way down, because we're hauling a, a big trailer with two trucks on it. Hauling the F-150 and uh, Big Rubber Ranch's truck. If you don't know Big Rubber Ranch, well then go check them out. There's his YouTube right there down at the bottom. So what we have today, what we have to do is we've got some... Blast performance tunes we got to throw in the 6.0. Good towing tunes, good extreme tunes, all the good tunes. So we got some tunes to put on the 6.0. We've got some Dox diesels. We got some Dox diesel, oil filters, and fuel filters. So Dox diesel has us covered on our filters, all our filters got us covered. So they're good filters right there. So. Link will be down in the description for everything in this video. Plus performance, stocks, diesel. Got some Mobile One 540 we got to put in the gal. Also, we have a stock oil filter cap. Because if you don't have a stock oil filter cap for these 6.0s, they don't fit right and it doesn't filter the oil very well as a stock one. So that's also another problem. Make sure you have your stock oil filter caps. We got some Hot Shot Striction Eliminator. We're gonna put in with the oil. We got blessed performance tunes we gotta throw on first. Then we got the oil change. Then we got overkill. Overkill lighting. Rock lights to put on the gale. And then we should be ready for Daytona. Got a couple things to do. We'll put the rock lights on tomorrow. We'll do the oil change today. So let's get the oil changed immediately. Also, we have something else we gotta do. We got rims. The rims and tires from the F-150 that we burnt off at UCC, um, we got to go change those because there's a burnout pit at Daytona. So <laughs> F-150 round two doing burnouts coming soon. Be there at Daytona. We're going to burn them off again. Might as well. Hopefully it doesn't blow up, but it shouldn't. It should be fine. We'll see you at Daytona. Subscribe or you're an idiot. Don't go follow it. You're probably an idiot. <laughs> Alrighty, so we got the custom tunes here. We got our X4 plugged in down here, SCT X4. Here, look at all these tunes we got from Blessed Performance. So what you have to do is you have to go here, click download. Download this one, download this one, download this one. Load custom tune file. Alrighty, so it's already got these on here. We actually need to uh, delete these. All right, so you click browse, downloads, and then you have all these right here. You only do one at a time, so we're going to start right here and work our way this way. So there's one, add to device, program, and she programs her, and there she is. And now we're going to do that for the rest, and then we'll get back to you when we put them onto the truck. Alright, once you got your tunes on your X4, you got to plug her in. I ran mine down right through here underneath this little panel. Up into here. Turn the key on. Good program vehicle. Continue. Turn the key on. Keys on. Then you got all your tunes right here. But now that we're towing the trailer, if you're going to tow anything, you're going to want to go to Tow Boss, Growl, or Screamer. I like Growl. Put her in here. Preparing data. And then it'll say your download is complete. Turn the key off. Hit done. And then you should be good to go. As you can see, this oil filter cap is way bigger than this one. This is where it would sit right there. Right there. You can tell this is way higher. Um, it doesn't push the filter all the way down in the filter housing. So it doesn't filter all the way. Some of the oil gets by at the bottom because it's not pushed down all the way to the bottom. So let's get this boy off. <sighs> and yeet it across the United States because this is bad. Bad, bad, bad. Well, look what we have here. We got a dirty boy. Look at this thing. That is dirty. 
Dirty boy. Well, you can see the difference on these caps. Way smaller. Always make sure on your 6.0 you don't have this stupid cap. These are the idiot caps. Get the smaller ones, boy. Order them off Amazon for like 10 bucks. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, yeah. Probably a, um, looks like a 14 to me. 10 4 sure is, boy. Ah, this is, oh, yeah. On oh, there, good. All right, so this thing has two fuel filters on it. It's got one in the engine bay and one on the driver's side inner frame rail. So let's take this tap one off. This is the smaller filter. This boy here is also pretty dirty. Look at this. Holy cow, that's a dirty boy. That's supposed to be white there, Hoss. That's a dirty boy. Oh, we're putting rust in there. Get the hell out of here. That's some dirty fuel that we just put in there. Better suck that right out. Always remember to take your old seals off. Get your new ones. Always remember to lube up your new seals. Just dip her in the diesel fuel a little bit. Dip her down in there and she's all good. Now put her on. Ah uh, yes, there we go, much better. Looks way better than that freaking tall boy. Freaking 10 gallon cowboy hat on here. Just need a tiny little boy. That'll do her. All right, so here is your other fuel filter up under on the inside of the frame rail. There's your front drive shaft. So we gotta take that out, put a new filter in there, and get her going. All right, so we got the oil drain plug put back in. Got the new oil filter in. Now we've gotta dump. We're gonna dump 12 quarts of oil in here, and then the two quarts of Striction Eliminator hot shot stuff. So uh, let's dump her in there, and then we might add a quart or two. We'll have to check the dipstick, so let's get her in there immediately. All right, so we got this fuel filter out. Look at this, boy. This is not good. That's dirty. Yeater. Let's start her up. Get the oil running through and check her. Oh, yeah. Let that run for a couple of seconds. Perfect. We'll be back with y'all tomorrow on the um, rock lights. All right. So what we have here is we got some new tires that I took. And we're gonna throw them on here because these are a little uh, eaten up. Yeah, this one here is uh, nothing left of this gal. Absolutely nothing. This one here is still usable. Still patch her up. Let's get them changed real quick and get her going. Get them on the F-150. All right, so we got the tires. Let me grab these boys. Here they are. Got some nice ribbon on them. Take these boys, toss them on the back there, because those boys aren't, aren't mine. So we're gonna throw the burnout tires on. Come here, boy. Let's get them mounted up. All right, so it's the next day here, and we got a rock light. <clears throat> Got our controller here for splitter and four rock lights, one for each wheel well. This is overkill lighting, full metal. As you can tell, these boys should last a lifetime right here. These boys will not break at all. Oh yeah. You use this as a hammer. When you can use your rock lights as a hammer, you know they're good. Ain't no plastic bull crap up in here. Overkill lighting, way to go right here. All right, so we got to figure out how to run these boys because on the F-150 they're a little, it's a little messy on the F-150. So we got to tidy this right up. Got to do it very professionally. I think we're just going to mount them all right now. Get them all mounted and then run the wires. So let's get them all mounted real quick. Well, I'm not the brightest, but I know that, but. 
What an idiot. Why? Look at that. Drilling the holes in the uh, front fender wells and uh, kind of got into the wire. I don't know how, but uh, what an idiot. What an idiot. Let's go splice these back together. Like I said, I was, I'm not the brightest, but um, we have fixed her. We have fixed it the redneck way. Um, that's pretty much all I do is just redneck it together. Cause we ain't, we ain't got time to warranty it out. So, um, we gotta make it work. So what you gotta do is just twist these wires and uh, there we go. Redneck her together. All right, so we got these gals all in here. This one here I kind of messed up, but that'll be all right. Um, I got to get an extension for this side. We got this side all rigged up. This one, back one right here is not hooked up yet. You need an extension. It's a little, it's a little short. So uh, that's what we have for rock, rock lights on this thing. And now I'll show you something else we got going. I happen to fix the air compressor in this thing, so, um, oh yeah. All right, so we've got everything done. Hook up the trailer to the old 6.0, put the F-150 on, and yeet down to Kentucky to pick up Big Rubber Ranch. 6.0 should make it. Can't see why not. It's been good to us so far, so if anything does happen, well, the F-150's got a gooseneck on it. Be all right. We'll make it either way. So everything that was in this video is down in the description. Docs Diesel, Overkill Lighting, Blessed Performance, all that stuff. It's down in the description. So I'd recommend going down there and clicking on it because if you don't, really, you're probably an idiot. So come on now. We'll see y'all down here.